How's it going guys? If you haven't heard yet, late last night, like 1.30 a.m. Eastern, the Montreal Canadiens finally traded Max Pacioretty and to the Vegas Golden Knights. So uh, the trade is Pacioretty in exchange for Thomas Tatar, Nick Suzuki, and a 2019 second round pick. And the second round pick actually belongs to the Columbus Blue Jackets. So uh, when I first saw the trade, honestly, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, literally everyone in the NHL knew Montreal was trying to trade Pacioretty. He's on an expiring deal. Um, they wanted him gone. So the fact they still got back Tatar, who... Didn't play very well for the Vegas Golden Knights. Like he was scratched a lot in the playoffs, but he's been pretty good for the Red Wings in the past. Uh, Nick Suzuki, I think, is a very good prospect. And then a second-round pick honestly isn't too bad. So we're going to see right now uh, whether or not the trade would go down in-game. Um, I have the trade difficulty set to hard, so uh, make it the most realistic. Um, so first off, I guess we will add uh, Nick Suzuki. Yeah, he has the most value. As you can see here, 19 years old, 67 overall. Uh, he's got the medium top 6 four potential. Again, a very solid prospect. Was drafted at 13th overall uh, back in 2017. And I think just last season, he had over 100 points in the OHL. So, again, a very good uh, prospect. And like I was saying too, Tatar didn't really fit in on Vegas, but still a pretty good player. As you can see here, he's listed as 82 overall. Uh, top 6 forward, roll there, second line forward. Um, I think Tatar is a good player. Like, I remember too, when he got his contract, I thought it was a bit expensive. A bunch of people thought it was, like, a very fair contract. So it kind of tells you... You know, there are a lot of people that are high on Tatar. Maybe he plays well in Montreal. We'll have to see. And then again, the 2019 uh, second that is Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, so Vegas keeps the Islanders, which will most likely be higher. I feel like, you know, Columbus is going to do better than the Islanders this year. So uh, that is the haul. Montreal got back for Pacioretty. Again, uh, Pacioretty is definitely the best player in this deal, at least right now. You never know. Uh, Suzuki could be sick. As you can see here, Max Pacioretty, top six forward, uh, 29 years old, ace overall. Decent amount of trade value there. Very favorable contract, four and a half million, but expired at the end of this year. So um, everyone kind of knew Montreal was going to trade him. Uh, Patch already won a lot more money than they were willing to give him. As you can see here, roll there is first line forward. Uh, quick look at all his stats. It was actually a first round pick back in 2007. So definitely one of the better goal scorers in the league. Uh, Montreal will have more than 45 skaters if we do this. Okay, so we'll have to add just somebody with no value i guess to get this to go through all right guys so i just added this max freiberg dude uh one year left really cheap contract should not affect the trade either way um looking at the value it's actually about equal um only thing is vegas doesn't really want patch ready nor do they want to give up any of the things we're asking for so it's gonna be tough especially on hard difficulty for this to go through we'll see what they say trade rejected okay unwilling to part with what you've asked for um, I kind of expected that. Usually when it's around even, at hard trade penalty, it's not going to be enough. I usually need to like juice it up so it's a bit more favorable for them. I'll uh, see what happens though on Vegas side. Uh, maybe Montreal says yes. So like I was saying guys, we're not going to try this trade from Vegas perspective. I also want to mention too, Cody Glass now medium lead potential in this game. Uh, before he was a top six, so that's kind of cool. Um, we'll see, I guess, just there, all the other ratings. Most of them, kind of what I remember. So uh, Suzuki, Tatar, and the 2019 second, that is Columbus. Uh, for Max Pacioretty, we'll see whether or not they say yes to this. Um, also, too, I've noticed here, Kokanemi also now has elite potential. On the last game, I think it was, like, top 9. I remember I boosted it uh, for my Copper Bus series, but it was nowhere near elite. Um, so much I would have. Okay, so we'll add Freiburg again here just to keep it consistent. He seemed like the most kind of a relevant guy. Cheapest contract, one year left. Shouldn't really sway it either way. Um, so, again, the value looks to be about equal. It's kind of honestly hard to see, but... Looks to be about equal. I know it's two. Both teams are considered hopeful, which is kind of funny. Vegas was just in the Stanley Cup final. Montreal, one of the bottom like three teams in the league, but um, whatever. Probably because you know they do have Carey Price, Shea Weber still. Um, so we'll see what they say. Trade rejected. I question whether or not you even looked at our trade block. Okay, so that's pretty fair. Now one thing I want to actually try just for fun is seeing whether or not Montreal would take this offer if we use the draft picks Vegas trade for Jatar instead of Jatar himself. I think Detroit got a steal in their turn for Jatar. So let's find out if the game thinks so as well. All right, guys, so here's the trade using the assets Vegas trade for Thomas Jatar. Um, obviously, you still have Nick Suzuki and Columbus 2019 second. Joe Valina was the first round pick. I am so happy uh, Detroit got him. 2019 second and then 2021 third. So uh, the value is actually way on Vegas side now. Maybe this trade will go through in game, which just kind of shows you again how good of a deal they got for our Detroit got for Tatar. We'll see what Montreal says. They want all five things. Trade is still rejected. That's crazy. They want all five. The value's on our side. I guess they just value Patch Ready that highly. So honestly, even though in game it got rejected on both sides, I guess that kind of shows it's a fair deal. And honestly, in my opinion, I thought it was a fair deal. Everyone knew they needed to trade Patch Ready. I feel like Tatar, although didn't have a great uh, Stint with Vegas looked pretty good on Detroit the last few seasons uh, Should do decent on Montreal especially getting top six minutes Nick Suzuki I think is a very very good prospect. He's medium top six in game 
I think for sure will end up being a top six forward in uh, real life. The second round pick, you never know what that could turn into. And one more thing, guys, forgot to mention that Pat Shorty actually already signed the extension with Vegas. Uh, it's a four year deal worth 28 million, so 7 million per year. I think that's pretty fair value for him. As you can see, he's actually Vegas top rated player in this game. I'm at least skater. I think Flurry might be higher than 86. Uh, yeah, Flurry's in 87. So Flurry's the best player on the team. Uh, Patch Reddy's now tied for second with March or so. Uh, so I also want to show you what Patch Reddy looks like on the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, again, I think with the extension, it makes the trade even better for Vegas. Uh, so right there is Patch Reddy. Honestly, looks pretty good as a Golden Knight to me. I'm also show you guys what Tatar's looking like on the Montreal Canadiens. Going to be kind of weird to see. I mean, I'm just so used to him as a Red Wing. Even seeing him as a Golden Knight was kind of weird. So uh, again, traded, what, like twice in six months? It's kind of got to suck, but... I will take a look here now at Tatar. Uh, again, I think it's a fair trade. We'd we'll love to hear what you guys think in the comments section. Uh, honestly, it doesn't look too bad there on the Montreal Canadiens. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave the thumbs up. Also, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I have a ton of NHL 19 content on the way. You're not going to want to miss. Besides that, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.